Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of Nostalgia and it's your DJ. So in the previous episode, we saw two beautiful moments which makes me crazy, insane and I only can imagine what would have done during those time and it it makes me to laugh again and again and it makes me to laugh more than that we like you know these moments now we as a grown up adult we have yeah we create memories which we turn out into a very good one and a bad one but these simple innocence i love the innocent the innocence from a child because we as a one year old two year old you know till we attain a level a, a part our innocence is the same but when we go beyond it when we become teens adulthood innocence comes down and we become more tragic and you know all the bad things come up no it it differs in person but the innocence we miss the innocence especially during our childhood days so this was a very good and happy memory which happened and here i am here to share the second episode with two more sweet memories which took place this is where i i still more think and and i i want to resolve it and what would have happened in this this is also the same thing like a continuation because everything comes under the same thing so this you know as a child we be, we do fidget things we become more mischievous when we start to grow up and when we start to identify things and here what happened is when i was yeah when i was like 2 200 years old like you know when growing up becoming more uh, mischievous and doing all the unwanted things and you know start and parents like slowly they start to uh, show their angry face and you know you have to try parenting is a parenting skill is a very different thing and a very hard thing and you know as a boy child both my mother and father had to take care of me and as a single child also i was only i'm only one single child to my parents parents and i'm so happy about it and i will bring them proud so let's move on to the topic of nostalgia here's the second episode where i was just you know turning nearing 3 years old so you know what happened is um, fidgeting hiding up things especially till now till i'm see i'm 20 plus till now i love to hide things i love 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 to hide things and make people to search it can be any xyz this is my thing i love people to search and create eagerness and all those thoughts so here this was a small incident where my mother was gifted a very good and a costly pen a costly pen by a friend okay so this is what i found out and i thought okay my, because as a child we identify everything identification is very important in a child so i started identifying and i saw okay my mom uses this pen guys don't think that i can remember this was again narrated by my father's uncle and by my father this was a very special one so my mother she used to use up that pen and yeah i was i was having a note on it and trying to fidget and do things and one fine day i thought okay let me hide it up okay so this is like you know how, like child's mentality like we hide up so i took and i flung it in the dustbin i chucked it in the dustbin all these were secretly noted by my uncle all these things and when i flung it in the dustbin i finally my uncle noted but he did not say it to my mother or my father so he made the situation very calm good neat and we were having our dinner this was the scenario and the situation we were having our dinner and my mother because she works on late we know especially our mother father anybody they work on late because if they are a working person they have to work for the uh, development of the company complete the project work set in the target everything so she was working on it and she started to find where's the pen 
oh i want the pen so she was fidgeting she had so many pens but that was a very special pen to her so she was moving here and there seeing where the pen where the pen and yeah and yeah so finally the uncle gave a clue that i hid it up so um, she was like you know fidgeting and i was playing you know as a small kid we we play make all things and when she came up to me and she asked like where's the pen you know and like you know word hardly comes out from my mouth because three year old kid like the fluency won't be so i told no i don't know like you know like meaning if meaning it like i don't know by showing up the actions but my uncle told it's up there and so slowly she found it and she took up the pen and she told here after this was a very thing here after you should not touch my things okay so you have to know you should not touch my things even if you touch my things i will give two whacks around you so i started to cry you know when my mom even till now when my mom is very angry i feel a bit bad because she shouts at me i feel a bit very bad and you know this i got and i started to cry then my mother you know as a mother mother's love is unconditional so she said okay sorry sorry and she you know night time so like put me to sleep and she continued her work this was a very good memory maybe it is a very boring memory for you guys a boring moment for you but this is what i cherish a very golden one all the mischief every time i'm up to some mischief and here's the second thing what happened you know after the consecutive months were going on as the house was filled with glass and all the posh things you know everything was very costly uh, because of the country's thing everything was very costly and yeah you know even as small kids we can't be holding up things were very hard and one fine day i took one small bowl and i dropped it it went into pieces in front of my mother's eyes she got very very furious because it's it's not the matter of thing but the child should not get hurt and this made her very very angry and she started to scold me and she gave two whacks that was the first time i got back two whacks from my mom because i dropped the vessel because you know my mother as a kid we always get warned by our mother and father do don't do that don't do this it's not good for you don't keep everything by so i didn't listen and i got the reward no other thing so when memories does not only include the good one the bad one it's a mixed feeling and a mixed creation where everything is filled up guys always you don't think about the bad one if you take the past also think about the good one the happy happy one the happy days the happy and the golden moments we cherished and we are which made you a person a good person that's what we need we do do not want the bad one to come up and destroy and get distracted nostalgia means the good and the happy memories which took part and which was in our life it may be your it for me i have taken the childhood part but it can be adult or it can be any part of your life but especially we all love our childhood because innocence level is 100 percentage damn 100 percentage so this is what i took up the topic nostalgia based on my childhood where few two to three episodes will be narrated by me when i heard it from my parents and my grandparents the other upcoming episodes will be narrated by myself because i i can start to remember about four years we'll start to remember everything and the other from the fourth episode everything will be banging and you'll get the true colors of damien the small damien until now guys always they tell me i'm too notorious don't think like that because from a small also i'll i'll be talking all the time i'll be talking my parents say if you don't talk it makes us mad yeah for each and every parent it's like that so guys it's a dj signing off for the second episode of nostalgia and i'll be coming up with the third episode of nostalgia